Hello Year 5. Today we're going to be looking at the differences between direct and indirect speech. This is going to help us when we do our report speech writing next week. So our aim today is to be able to explain the differences between direct and indirect speech. So we need to recognise where inverted commas will be punctuated, whether you can change direct speech into indirect speech and vice versa, and whether you can create examples of direct and indirect speech using visual aids to support you. So let's have a look at speech used within writing. So there are two different ways that we can use to narrate the words spoken by a character. And they are direct speech and indirect speech. Now indirect speech is the same as reported speech, which is what we looked at in yesterday's lesson. So here we have Iggy's little piece of speech. And in a direct speech sentence, we would narrate his words like this. I bid you farewell, earthlings, shouted Iggy from his spaceship. If I were writing an indirect speech sentence, we would, we would narrate it differently like this. From his spaceship, Iggy bid farewell to the earthlings. Can you see the difference? So let's look carefully at the direct speech sentence. What do you notice? Okay, so the first section here is the exact words of the speaker are enclosed in what we call inverted commas, more commonly known to you as speech marks. Within those speech marks, we have the speech of the exact words that the speaker has quoted and there's no change to the order of the way they are spoken in. We must also remember to then use the correct punctuation before the inverted commas at the close of the sentence. And then the final part of our sentence, this is often what we refer to as the reporting clause. And this is to explain who said the speech and how. Now, sometimes it might have an extended adverb, subordinate clause or a prepositional phrase to give additional information to how, when or where the speech was said. The reporting clause can appear either before or after the spoken word. So we could rearrange that sentence and start it with the reporting clause. Let's have a look at the indirect reported speech version of this sentence. How is this different from the direct speech sentence? From his spaceship, Iggy bid farewell to the earthlings. Now you might notice here that the indirect speech, there is no inverted commas, okay? No speech marks are used here at the beginning of our sentence. Here we have the actual words of the speaker which are often changed into a different order. So the spoken words must be in the correct tense and sometimes you may need to add additional words such as pronouns that might need to be changed, i.e. I would have to become Iggy because you'd have to write it in the third person. Here there are no reporting clauses at the end of this sentence within the direct speech. However, they have been able to include an adverb or a prepositional phrase to explain about how, where or when the speech was said if needed to be added. So now I'm going to test your knowledge to see whether you were paying attention. Let's have a look at this sentence underneath. Kayla explains that she used to live in New York. Pause the video, look at the speech sentences. Are they examples of direct or indirect speech? And if they are examples of direct speech, where should we place the inverted commas? Pause the video and write down your ideas. Okay, so if we notice there are no speech mark or inverted commas that are used in this sentence, therefore this is an example of indirect speech. Therefore it doesn't need the inverted commas. So this sentence is reporting what Kayla explained. Therefore this is indirect speech. Let's have a look at the following sentence. Pause the video and see if you can tell me whether this is direct or indirect speech and if there is any missing punctuation. Okay, so watch out, screamed George as he launched hit the frisbee. Now with the exclamation mark there, there is a suggestion that this is a direct speech. Therefore, we do need inverted commas to go around the spoken words that were screamed by George. However, where do you think the inverted commas need to go? Correct, well done. Both inverted commas need to go around the speech at the beginning of our sentence. This time round, Gunthram announced that they should charge towards the village. Pause the video, identify if it's direct or indirect speech and any missing punctuation you think that you might need to add. So as there is no speech in this example, 
This must be an example of indirect speech, therefore it does not need inverted commas. This sentence is a reporting sentence from what Gunthram announced, therefore this is an example of indirect speech. Last example, the doctor gently said, open your mouth as wide as possible. Think very carefully about this sentence, look at the order the sentence has been written in. Pause the video, identify if it's direct or indirect speech, and whether you think there is any missing punctuation you might need to add. This is an example of direct speech, and it does need inverted commas. However, where do you think the inverted commas might need to go in this sentence? Good job. So open your mouth as wide as possible. Now you might notice that the order of this sentence is slightly different because we have started with the reporting clause and we have then finished with the direct speech. I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to have a read of this newspaper report. Can you spot any of the direct and indirect speech in this newspaper report? Okay, so here is a passage of direct speech. Now we know that this is direct speech because it has inverted commas. It has other speech punctuation involved and there is a reporting clause at the end of the sentence. Did you manage to find an example of indirect speech? Well done. So admitting disappointment at missing out on the medal, Justin Gatlin promised supporters that the team had given it all they could and refused to criticise the official decisions, but did not apologise to the US fans. So this is an example of indirect speech because this is reporting something that Justin Gatlin did. It is not directly addressing the speech and the direct quotes that he actually said himself. So it tells the reader what he promised his reporters rather than the actual words that he said. So there are no inverted commas and there is no reporting clause. So we are now going to have a go at seeing if we can change some of these sentences into direct and indirect speech. So, this is one of the sentences we looked at earlier. Gunthram announced that they should charge towards the village. This is an example of indirect speech. Pause the video. Can you rewrite this sentence to turn it into a direct speech sentence? We should charge towards the village, announced Gunthram. If you have done your sentence correctly, you needed to have included your speech marks, your inverted commas, and an appropriate piece of punctuation before the close of your inverted commas. Now looking at this one, what has changed and why has it changed? And what you can see is that the order of the sentence has changed, but we've also had a direct speech and we have added a reporting clause. Can you do the opposite for this question? So the doctor gently said, open your mouth as wide as possible. Pause the video. Can you rewrite this sentence into a line of indirect speech? So the doctor told the patient that he should open his mouth as wide as possible. So again, what has changed and why? Well, because we are not directly reporting the speech, we no longer need our inverted commas or our reported clause. But we have had to add additional words and change and add a pronoun in there to address the boy that she is talking to. Look at this photograph. I would like you to pause the video. Please can you write one sentence using direct speech and one sentence using indirect speech based on the picture on the screen. Here are some example sentences to help you. I want an ice cream, shouted the angry little boy. In direct speech, the angry little boy shouted that he wanted an ice cream. Have a go at using the sentences that you've now just written. Can you write the opposite of those sentences if you have not done that already? Here is another picture. Can you invent, again, both a direct and indirect speech sentence based upon this picture? Try and make sure that the sentences are of the same topic. For example, direct speech. The championship driver shrieked, we've won the race. Speech marks and our appropriate punctuation. Indirect speech. The championship driver shrieked that they had won the race. So we've had a change in pronoun, we've had to add an additional word, and we have removed the inverted commas and the reported clause. 
Can you do the same for this one? Invent a direct and indirect speech sentence of the same topic about this picture. Well, here is an example of what I've come up with. Direct speech. Say cheese, dad, pleaded the girl as she was taking the photograph. So I've added an extra clause to my sentence here. If I turned this into indirect speech, as she was taking the photograph, the girl pleaded as her dad for her dad to say cheese. Now I've started this sentence with a another sentence rather than using our opening sentence of speech with our inverted commas. So I've had to add some additional words in there, but I've also started it with a fronted adverbial. So your task is to complete the worksheet for indirect and direct speech that you have been sent home. Once you have completed that sheet, what I would like you to do is have a go at now drafting your police report now that you have the necessary skills to support you with your two witness statements. You should have completed your draft yesterday and bullet pointed different evidence for both witness statements that you needed to have included. Use the model report example that was given to you at the beginning of the week and this will help you with supporting your format writing for your newspaper report. Sorry, your police report. Try to be very clear with the point that you want to make and be very factual about the information that you need to include. So have a go at writing your draft. Make sure that you include reported speech and have a look at the model example sent to you so you know what additional information you may want to include. Good luck.